Welcome, Sats Geniuses, to question 17. And this is 101 multiplied by 1,000. Now, some of you may be able to do this one straight away in your head. So, 7 times 1,000 is 7,000. 24 times 1,000 is 24,000. 62 times 1,000 is 62,000. So, 101 times 1,000 is 101,000. Okay, so it's going to be 101 comma 1,000. But if you couldn't do it in your head, you could remember that because you're timesing by 1,000, you're moving the digits three place forwards. So times 10 would be move the digits one place to the left. Times 100 would be two places left. And times 1,000, which is what we've got here, would be three places to the left. So let's have a look how that works out with this question. So if we've got 101 times 1,000, we've actually got a decimal point at the end of the 101 there. So if we put our decimal point on the line underneath, because the decimal point doesn't move, we just move all the digits three places forwards. So this 1 here is going to go 1, 2, 3 into that column. And if it goes 1, 0, 1 in the question, it's going to go 1, 0, 1 in the answer. But then obviously we've got an empty gap here, an empty gap here, and an empty gap here. And those empty gaps we're just going to fill in with zeros up to the decimal point, which is still going to leave us with an answer of 101,000. Whichever way you do it, it doesn't matter as long as you arrive at the answer of 101,000.